Well, I'll tell you what, it's uh, improved uh, drastically, I think, from uh, two years ago. I think two years ago there was uh, sort of uh, three or four players, maybe five players in every team that uh, you looked at and you said, uh, Jeepers, these guys are pretty good and of uh, international standard. This time I've come back and there's so many more. I mean, the, 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 the standard of cricket has been a lot better and uh, I think there's so many uh, youngsters coming through. I've been so impressed, particularly in the spin department. Left arm, uh, you know, Chinaman bowlers, some leg spinners, some uh, good heart hitting uh, young batsmen as well. So I've been, uh, I've been overwhelmed and flabbergasted really by, uh, in two years, by what I've seen insofar as the development of talent is concerned as well as the standard of uh, the general play. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very uh, optimistic insofar as uh, Afghanistan's future in, uh, in international cricket because I think that uh, the domestic uh, program is good and I think uh, you know there's a lot of youngsters coming through and that's the key to success is making sure that the youngsters are coming through and uh, of, of the required standard and uh, what I've seen in this Pagisa, uh, Afghanistan cricket are definitely on the right track. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're looking from a playing perspective, I think in these conditions, I think a lot of uh, overseas players would have come here and struggled. I thought that the bowling was of exceptional standard, particularly uh, in the spin department. I think the seamers have uh, upped their games as well insofar as uh, their variations are concerned. And so, as I said, I think the standard compares with anywhere around the world, particularly in these conditions. Uh, insofar as the broadcast, it's much better than it was uh, two years ago. The, the running of the event, the administration, I think everything, standard of umpiring, all of those things need to go hand in hand with the advancement of your actual playing standards so uh, I think that everyone must take credit for uh, in their in their different spheres the groundsman as well the curator I think the pitches were really good the the advancement in the ground with uh, the covering of the spectator areas as well so I, I was very uh, impressed with what I've uh, seen and, and and like I said and so far as a domestic competition in your own country uh, there were lots of people watching spectator support was good I think that it compares favorably with anywhere else in the world Well, I, you know, I, I, I looked at uh, the various uh, players and so far as the awards were at uh, the awards ceremony yesterday and uh, um, Noor Ahmed for me stands out. Uh, you know, everybody's so used to uh, Salim Kiel or Zahir Khan. Noor Ahmed was outstanding. I think Wasi as well was uh, tremendous for the Spiengar Tigers, uh, the leg spinner. Only played a couple of games and uh, that's how strong, uh, you know, the, the depth in, in so far as the teams are concerned is. Uh, Ibrahim Zadran I thought was outstanding. Uh, Ramanullah Gurbaz was uh, top draw. These are all youngsters. I mean, Roman Ola Gerbas, you know, I, I look uh, at their stats afterwards and read up a bit a bit about the players and I see that he's only 17 years of age. I mean, it's crazy that uh, these guys are that young and, and are that competitive. So, uh, um, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of youngsters coming through. I think uh, the older guys, uh, I mean, they've been around a long time. Mohammed Nabi now has retired from test matches. And uh, you know what, if I'm an Afghanistan cricket supporter, which I am, if I'm a selector, if I'm an administrator, I'm uh, very happy with what's coming through because uh, the last thing you want is nobody coming through your system to replace those older guys, replace the guys that have done it for you on the international stage. But what I see coming through in Afghanistan cricket, I think uh, the future is very bright. And those that are retiring now, those that are getting on in age, there are able replacements. And I think even the likes of Rashid Khan and uh, Mujib Rahman have got to play for their places now because there's so much talent coming through and it's going to be very competitive. And what you want in a nation is uh, you want competitive uh, cricket. You want good bench strength. You want people, if someone's injured, to be able to come through and take their place and not let the standard down. And I see that in Afghanistan cricket. I think so. I mean, you can't say that for everybody. Everybody's different insofar as their mental strength is concerned. So they show a lot of ability when they're youngsters. But when you give them the opportunity to uh, to go higher up, to, to play at a higher level, some make it, some don't. That's the nature of life. Uh, not everybody makes it at the highest level. But uh, what I've seen and, uh, you know, in precious situations in this Spagiza, I think there's, uh, you know, there's nobody there that stood out that said, oh, when he's under pressure, he can't play. Everyone at some stage was under pressure in that tournament. And uh, every time, particularly the death bowling, I thought that was really good um, and uh, you very rarely saw the batsmen dominating in those last few overs and that's why I said the skills particularly from the seamers at the back end of the innings with Yorkers slow ball slow ball bounces Naveen Al Huck was uh, outstanding and in, insofar as bowling in the power play and bowling at the death uh, at the back end of the innings is concerned so so when it comes to cricket they just treat it as uh, you know uh, something to enjoy and something to embrace so uh, but I just saw uh, people there that uh, wanted an opportunity desperate to perform on the international stage and I tell you what I can't wait till uh, the under 
2019 World Cup in South Africa to see some of these guys play because I'm backing Afghanistan to go all the way. I think they've got the skills and the players to really cause a, a few upsets. And I say upsets, but they shouldn't be upsets because the guys here have got the skills. It's, a, it's not uh, anybody should be surprised by the fact that uh, they are winning games and they're competitive because uh, they really have got the skill set. And uh, when you look at the national side playing uh, West Indies in a couple of weeks' time, watch out, West Indies. I tell you what, <laughs> that, uh, you know, uh, Afghanistan have won uh, two test matches already. Don't bet against them winning a third. Well, look, I, I, it's, it's, not a, it's never an issue for me to come here. I know that, uh, you know, the first time we came here, you're looking at security protocols and, uh, you know, you're a bit nervous because Afghanistan, I mean, you just read in the papers and there's, uh, you know, bombs going off and attacks and whatnot. So you're a bit nervous, I think, if you come from the Western world. But for me, after that last time uh, and coming back here was a no-brainer. I just think that, uh, you know, for me, I, I, I'm, a, I'm on a quest to, to find different places where people play cricket, where people are passionate about the sport. And, you know, Afghanistan is a fantastic fascinating story. Ten years ago, you know, there was nothing going on here insofar as cricket is concerned. Suddenly, they're competing with all the powerhouses of world cricket. The story is a fascinating one. So, uh, I like interacting with the people. I see uh, the passion of the supporters. Uh, you know, you, you can't fault, uh, you know, insofar as uh, the advancement of the game is concerned and, uh, you know, the people behind it. Uh, it, it's it's hard to 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 uh, sort of describe anything other than the ground and the people there and the and the hotel that we stayed. Unfortunately, you know they're still uh, you know not able to go out and uh, and sample the other riches that Afghanistan have. But I hope that I'm going to be coming here for a long time to come, and uh, um, hopefully that uh, you know things improve and uh, I can get out and uh, see what Afghanistan have to, has to offer. Because you know I've seen lots of hotels, I've seen lots of cricket fields. What I want to see is uh, different parts of the country, and hopefully in years to come that'll be possible.